Okay, so hi there Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your August 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, I do apologize for the late upload because I got really frustrated because of my Capricorn uh, video recording. Um, I'll probably upload this at the same time with Capricorn, but you will notice that my Capricorn reading is actually very distorted, which I don't have any idea why that ha that why that happened. So um, yeah, it could be that because I uploaded Capricorn, I, I recorded Capricorn last night, and it was raining so hard, and I was recording through my phone and since it's connected to my computer there could have been connection issues i don't know but um anyway um i switched back to my webcam so aquarius um this might not be the most good quality uh, video for you guys but hey uh like i always say the information comes first right so i really feel that uh, more than the imagery of the video the audio is um the more important thing here which i hope that i did for Cap capricorn but anyways i do hope that this video won't bug out and if it does i don't know if i should be uploading it or not um yeah uh but anyway with enough of that chatter i do hope i'll just leave a comment below to skip the few minutes of the video but anyway let's start with the reading um, before anything else, I just want to say that I'm using a new deck and you will notice this because, you know, I have, I'm not using my usual tarot deck to write a weight. And I'm using this Tarot of Sexual Magic and this is a very sexual deck. It's actually very erotic oriented. This is actually the theme of the deck. And this is this one is created by Lord Twan and it's actually one of the deck that I've really, really liked. It's something that I've always been wanting to have in my collections and I rarely, you know, I do buy a lot of tarot cards but I don't necessarily use each and every card that I get. But this is the type of card that I would love to use each time in a love reading. And since this is, you know, a love reading that we usually do every month, I would say that it's actually the perfect time to use them. Anyways, um how this deck is being read is actually going to be a little bit different from how we usually read with a writer weight. So there could be images here that can put you off guard, especially if you are someone who knows about tarot and you are someone by the book, you might have a hard time because Laura Twan um, has her own image or has her own story on the influences of what the card actually means but at the same time it has a correlation to how it is in a very traditional setup so this is very much of a love and relationship oriented type of reading so yeah um so again it's still the same it's just that there are shades of the information that can be quite a little bit different from the traditional reading. Of course, I'm still going to be using my own intuition to this, so I do hope that you will be able to resonate and gain insights as we go along through this reading. Again, this is still a general reading, so it may or may not tune in for each and every one of us. And I forgot my astro dices. I'm so scattered today. I don't know why. <laughs> do apologize for that. Let me first do an astro dice for Aquarius, August 2020. What you can see. What are the influence at play for you guys? Aquarius. In terms of their love life and relationships. Okay, so we have here the number six, Cancer, and Rahu. Okay, we just leave it at that for now. Okay, so the first card for Aquarius people, Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising, and we do have here this Six of Wands. And 
I find this car really naughty and sexual all at the same time. And with Laura Twan, she actually visualizes this deck as this card, I mean, as the card of touching, you know, being in contact with someone. So there is a form of, you know, this is actually has a story about when there are problems in a relationship, when there are doubts in the relationship. You have to hurry and dispel them. So it has that form of connection. That is why when you touch someone, you you make contact. You somehow dispel all of the doubt. So that is actually the the focal point of what Lord One wants to express in this card. So we can see here that you know this is all about touching. There is something that you want to achieve. You wanted to to do maybe because the six of wands is still a card of action and it's an action that leads to success so there is something that you want to achieve it could be that you know you are desiring something and it's becoming stronger by the day it is being crossed over by another six and it is the six of cups and you know just like the usual deck of the rider way this is still all about memories and exes and all that and Laura Twan you know uh, gives the same meaning uh, Laura Twan sees this as the memory so taking a look of the woman right here um, looking t for a painting of some kind maybe it's her and the lover that she used to have so it has that form of energy being crossed over by the two sixes it gives me a feeling we're in you know touching it is like connect let's try to connect touching and then access touching and memory it gives me a feeling we're in you know there could be something that you want from the past or there is something that you are envisioning from way back it could be from a previous connection a previous relationship or you could just be you know browsing through and thinking that you miss someone i feel that there is a higher probability for many of you guys that of wanting to be connected to your exes which is going to be really weird because i don't see a lot of aquarius act like that that's not just who they are so maybe this is going to be for a minimum of Aquarius I don't know who I am connecting anyway but um, it feels here that you're not really thinking too much about your head but I kind of feel that this is what you are desiring as a whole it's your passion you are acting from your heart from your own emotions we do have the sun card as your foundation card of the reading which is all about you know positive energy fascination and really you know it's like you have an idea in your head and you really really want to do this you want to make it happen you know you're not gonna think if it's logical or not and so if you're striving for change in the relationship change in your connection with someone this is just going to get stronger by the day you know you are wanting to have this you're wanting to achieve this and some of you might be battling you know maybe you don't want to change this you don't want to go back to the past or what um, you might be trying to restrict yourself but I kind of feel that something is leaking out inside of you it's like if you feel like doing something if you feel like you have to do this you know it doesn't matter if it's in a relationship or in a personal situation i kind of feel that it will come to a point wherein if you feel that you need to do something you want to do something you envision something that you want to have and achieve you are going to do it and because we have here the wheel of fortune at the top of the reading which is all about transformation and changes which is you know the same as how it is in the normal right rate i feel that you know um you are really definitely going to pursue and do whatever it is that you wish for 
and in a relationship setup, I would say that this could be a very karmic connection. You know, it's not just someone that you know from the past. You feel that you have a strong bond with this person. You feel that you you guys have a very strong connection. We do see here that the world card is actually in your previous, um, the recent past um, situation. And with Laura Twan, this is, you know, whenever you get a world card for Laura Twan, it's all about continuing. So it could be that maybe you are far away from each other. You, you see the man and the woman are not really together, you know. The man is just looking over with a woman. So they're not really exactly touching each other or anything like that, which is, you know, what the Six of Wands is. So it gives me a feeling we're in... If you have been just thinking about it and looking over things, not really exactly doing anything, but thinking of wanting to continue a relationship, this could be a time where and you might just breach that bridge. <laughs> that you might just, you know, want to take action and do something, you know, especially if you have been planning on that for quite some time. You will feel or get a needed push to actually make things happen and another good note with that is we have here the ace of wands and the ace of wands is all about union and you know uh, it's all about the partnership and the union so since this is coming to the near future it is telling us that you might start something you might begin something it could be something from an idea from a passion of yours but you are going to take action and do it and with that it could even be a surprise i actually pulled this card because i got that these two cards both at the same time so i just thought that maybe it has some form of added insight and this is actually the two of pentacles so it gives me a feeling we're in whatever you begin now or in the near future throughout this month it could be within the middle of the month and by middle i would say around 19 or 20s and and forward um or uh, with the end of the month i don't know whatever you decide since we are dealing with the two of pentacles two of pentacles has a lot to do with your doubts um hesitations and something that doesn't make you really feel secured so whatever you decide you're not really sure of that action you know you're hesitating but at the same time you feel that it is time to take the action it's time to you know move forward it has a lot to do with surprises all at the same time uh, because it there could be few things that can caught you off guard and like you can see on the image you know the man is actually maybe tr being sneaky or trying to surprise the woman so it gives a form of vulnerability all at the same time but at the same time this is going to be really really good for you at the end of the day i just kind of feel that you know yeah there could be karmic situations and the actions that you might do at this time you know they're not very easy and the decisions that you make they're not you know you're not making a decision because of the whim you know you're not making uh the, the actions that you're taking that the reasons why you're doing things right now yes it has big part of it is because of your own emotions on what you feel you know your own insight into things but i kind of feel that you know there is a mixed bag of complications and feeling feeling as if the time is right so there is that kind of energy into things and you do have here the empress card all at the same time which is the card that is representing you so it gives me a feeling we're in this is the card of opportunities and and for lord one this is actually a card of intention and invitation so you could be the one who's going to be taking action gives me that form of feeling and you know it gives me that energy we're in you're letting someone in your life and it doesn't mean that you are waiting for them it could be that you are going to take action maybe before you don't want them in your life and then suddenly you come to a point where in okay i'm ready <laughs> it could be that form of energy however i do see some form of you know um 
it's not going to be as smooth as it sounds. We do have the King of Swords here as the other person's card of the reading. And with the King of Swords, you know, it has a form of power and strength and determination into things. It's not really the most emotional card. So when we do a love reading and we have this representing the other person, there could be a scenario we're in. Maybe you're having a hard time. Maybe someone is scared. Are you scared of that person? Or, you know, uh, there is uh, some form of friction that is happening here because King of Swords is actually is like someone of a authority. So you could be dealing with a King of Swords person or this could be a scenario we're in they're not going to be easily going to trust you they're not going to easily believe what you say because the king of swords you know is a very logical and rational kind of person so again this could be you know the energy that they could be representing you know it could be a man it could be a woman so regardless what your gender is there is some form of suspicion that they, they might be feeling and he, it's not exactly that you invite them in your life would mean that they are going to accept and welcome the invitation or they're not just going to jump into you with open arms you know there's going to be some form of feeling guarded into things and this is actually the card of fundling when it comes to um laura twins um description of what the king of swords is and if we think about that way it's like you know when you start having a sexual connection with someone you don't just you know go passionate and all of that unless you guys have a big foundation and you guys are doing okay everything if fondling is like you know touching the person little by little and then as you guys go closer you go deeper into things which i'm not going to discuss in this video of course um so it has that form of analogy into things which i feel that is um very fitting of the king of Soros. and also we have here the lady looking over to what's really happening between the two of them so it gives me that energy of you know uh what's really going on there are you just serving <laughs> your master or her, uh, is there something more so you know there is a form of doubt and suspicion so so i kind of feel that the two of you are having the same energy we're in it, the the only difference is that i feel that you are going to come or you you might take action in a form of surprise that caught the person off guard so and even though that the person might i'm saying might okay as a possibility that they might like the idea of you coming into their life it's just that they're in, because if you guys had a history together remember we do have the, the six of cups over here which is all about memory and excess if you guys had a history together they are going to be skeptical of you returning into their life or maybe you guys had some form of history which can complicate quite a few things all at the same time you know it's, it's like there is a form of awkwardness and uncomfortability into the situation and then we do have here the four of pentacles the four of pentacles is actually very simple and straight to the point with laura and it's talking about pleasure i mean really driving into pleasure all at the same time and it has a um, very similar meaning to what four of pentacles is actually all about it's just that we are translating this more into the love situation area so when it comes to pleasure you really go all out into things you, you know you act based on your feelings like i said and that can turn into a positive thing or a negative thing all at the same time and you know um this can also turn into some form of selfishness wherein you allow the other person i mean it could happen vice versa wherein you allow the other person to do everything for you or it could be them that's doing that 
but um, I would say that this is a situation wherein you you there could be a sense of feeling that once you go into the situation there could be no turning back because there's something in the relationship that really makes you feel uh, intoxicated you know there is a connection here uh, this connection is something that you cannot even get out once you're inside of it <laughs> and you know maybe you're scared of that bond you know it's, some people are are like that especially for a lot of aquarius aquarius is a very independent sign and it doesn't mean that they don't love or they don't like commitment i mean they do they do care about commitment also it's just that you know sometimes being overwhelmed with things can be a different story overall but this is just what you are you know um feeling or sensing in this in, in in the scenario this could also be a situation wherein you might have to do everything that you can to please someone so that they can open up to you once again and we do have here the overall card of the reading which is another positive card and if you think about it this is actually the ace of cups if you think about it this is the near future and this is the long-term future in this um spread that i have right now and we you have with the ace of wands and you end with this ace of cups and that is actually a very wonderful reading very blessed if you ask me and this is all about success and happiness all at the same time so even though that you are not sure of what actions that you are going to take or you are taking maybe it's already happening um do know that it's going to lead to some forms of success so you need to brush off that that doubt aside and just give in to your own feelings and and own energies one thing for sure though is that because we have the first card here as the touching the six of wands i do see some form of messages phone calls and some form of connection and bonding that can really happen and manifest for you in terms of your love life and relationships there is a form of gift and changes and transformation of course in terms of relationships so i kind of feel that this might be a very active month for a lot of you and very um in, of course once you take action <laughs> once you take action because i feel that you should and you will <laughs> most likely you will bond with someone you will try to connect with someone and that can bring a new opportunity overall which can be very satisfying and happy all at the same time and yeah let's not forget our astro dice we do have here the sixth house being activated and just a uh, you know fun fact for all of you aquarius out there did you know that the sixth house can actually represent your exes <laughs> yeah because um the sixth house is the house of enemies and stuff like that i don't know but from my studies and research they actually link the sixth house to the house of ex-lovers so it gives that energy and we do have here another karmic um scenario which is rahu and the sign of cancer and your emotions so if you think about it the astro dice actually said said everything that i have you know i have you know one by one went through with all of you guys so this could be a scenario wherein you might be dealing with a ex-lover or this all this can also be a situation wherein you need to work hard into something and like i said you might need to please someone work with someone bond with someone and you have to do everything that you can because they are not trusting you or because they have their own issues in the situation so um yeah i do believe that there is going to be improvement into this and um yeah a lot of talking can definitely occur all at the same time but do know that your efforts will not um forsake you 
Aquarius that is something that you have to remember so never give up okay so um yeah thank you guys for watching and chilling in with me I do hope that this video do not glitch please um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and if you do want a more um a reading that is specifically done for you you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by and i shall see you guys again next month